guys, it's Zink. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. My name is Zink and I post Disney related content such as unboxings, hauls, I talk about lounge flies, Funko Pops, Disney Park styling videos, Disney food vlogs, you name it, all things Disney on this channel. Now I have a very, very exciting unboxing to do with you guys. So, um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, your girl was recently in California for about a week. So I had a week, a week to unbox this box. Um, it was a surprise from my fiance. Lately, he's been surprising me a lot with like gifts. Um, that is his love language. He likes to like share his love through gifts. And um, he recently got me the Tangled Castle lounge fly and he got me another lounge fly and I'm I'm so excited for it. I wanted to cry so bad. So I've kind of already seen it um, because he wanted to see my reaction but I didn't like fully unbag it and like see it, see it, if that makes sense. Like he just wanted to see that I saw what it was, if that makes sense any sense um so the box is already open but let's go ahead and like take it out of its packaging and everything if i didn't clarify it is a lounge fly unboxing so <laughs> um we're gonna take this bubble wrap out and it's just like it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and i'm so stinking excited about it like you guys don't understand i'm gonna drop the box in three two one Ooh, that was loud um i'm just gonna show you guys already because like i can't handle my excitement with it and obviously you guys might know what it is hint hint by the title and my beautiful ears that i am wearing these are bride ears i got from fitting pieces and co i will definitely link her site down below her ears are gorgeous and great great quality um so definitely check out her store but she's gorgeous she's so pretty okay let me take it out of the packaging for the first time i feel like the tape they use is so freaking strong and i can never there we go like do it so gently okay like it's like strong sticky tape if you know what i mean so let me put the precious I'm having a hard time taking her out. Give me one. Give me one second. <laughs> this tape is like really stuck. There we go. And be as gentle as possible. This tape is just. This tape they use is like so strong. Okay. She's so. <sighs> so gorgeous. So here she is. Um, I'm gonna take off, like, I think there's, like, just a little bit of more stuff on her, so let me just, like, the little slip, and then she does have foam around the ears. I always suggest, um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but keep this. If you have a lounge fly that has mini ears, always keep this and put it on if you're not using that lounge. It'll keep the mini ears propped up and keep their shape if they're like this so always keep this foam piece if it comes with it so that's just a little tip oh my god she's so cute so here she is her bow is like a tad cricket but that's okay i literally i go on her cry because she's so cute and i wanted this bag so so much so when i got engaged they didn't have this lounge line and I got the, I think it's the iridescent one. It's white and pink. And I thought I could just use that bag as like my bride lounge fly. But then they came out with this wedding bride lounge fly. And I am obsessed and I'm so happy I got it. Ugh. Well, my fiance got it for me. Like, thank you so much to my fiance. Because he just spoils me rotten. And I'm obsessed with this. But it's an all over sequence, white sequence bag. It is gorgeous. Um, the sequence is very like small. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but very, very gorgeous, very, very pretty. And then it has like the sequence mini ears on the top. And then you have this 
leather bow in the front as well. Really gorgeous. And then you have the Disney Lounge Fly Pack on the corner of the small pocket. It is a like kind of classic style lounge fly where it has the smaller box shape pocket. So cute. And the sequence continues on the side. And then these pockets are real. They're real pockets, which we love. And then you have kind of like that white leather right here. The hardware is a silver. Very, very nice. And then the back has the leather straps all white and then a silver Mickey silhouette and it has um, a heart in the middle of it. Really cute, adorable. And now what's cool about this bag, which I'll show you guys in a minute, is it comes with, if I can show you guys, it comes with the secondary bow. So here's like the tag where it shows. So there's this bow, which is just the leather one that is already on it. And then there's this one that comes with the reams and a veil, which is this bow right here. I'll show you guys a better look of it and how that works. But let's go ahead and check out the inside lining. I probably won't take out all the package because I do want this bag to stay um, in its like form, if that makes sense. Um, okay, I'm going to take out like one more. They really like the packaging in here, really good, which is nice. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's this light gray color and it has all the silhouettes, uh, silhouette heads of Mickey with the heart in the middle, which is really cute and nice. And then there is like a small pouch pocket. I wonder how far it goes. Does it go all the way down? Lately, some of them go like pretty down. Uh, probably goes about halfway down, which is really, really nice. Oh, it's so cute. It's so white. It's definitely probably going to get dirty, which I hope it wouldn't. Um, so here is um, this bow, which is the bow that's already on the bag. So you can go ahead and like take it. I see if I can take it off. You can take it off. Yeah. And so it has kind of like that buckle piece, like a button piece. I don't know what you would call it, um, that you can connect it to the bag. And I'll show you guys that right now. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looked like without it. Um, looks kind of silly. I wish this was kind of white, um, but it's silver. I can understand why. Um, but that's what it looks like without the bow. And then you guys saw it with it. So let's go ahead and try and put the other one on. Let's see how this is attached. I think I might need my scissors to like take out the tag. So let me get them. The little tags. Boop. Okay. So it is like attached to like a tag. Um, hopefully my safety scissors can. Oh, yep. Sweet. Okay. There we go. All right. We got the other bow. Okay. So here is the second bow, really, really pretty and cute. So in the center, you have these silver reins, so bride and groom reins, and then it has that pleather bow on the back, and then you have that mesh bow in the front. So it's like double the bow. So here's like the mesh of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully it's focusing. And then the pleather bow, and then it's like a little veil at the bottom really really stinking cute and it has that same like buckle in the back that you would like attach it so cute so you have like two different bows to choose from to put on the bag so really cute so let me go ahead and put this bow on the bag so you guys can see how it looks i wonder i don't know if this is really easy to do i would guess recommend opening it holding your hand right here and then attaching it Oof. It's kind of hard to do, honestly. Oh, there we go. So two hands push really hard. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me zip it up so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh my god. It's so stinking cute. With the little veil. Oh my 
god, it is precious. And I will say, the bow for this one, I don't know if it's just mine, but it kind of goes a little up. Like, if you see that it's leaning upwards instead of, like, down like this. Um, I think it's where my buckle part is on the bow. I'll show you guys in a minute, but, like, it doesn't go flat like this. It's kind of, like, up, if that makes any sense. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, like, going up as an angle like that. So, that kind of sucks, but other than that, it's really, really, really cute. So, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to take it off really quick. Oh. <laughs> so, this is what I'm talking about, like, the buckle part right here is up top and it's kind of like in an angle, if you can see that. So there's that one. And then this one is more in the middle. And I think it's just the ribbon or leather that ties the bow together, like the middle piece. So this one's like in the middle. So when you buckle it, it's, it's straight. And then this one is kind of leaning toward the top where it is making that angle, which kind of sucks, but it's cool that you get to choose between the two bows that you want. You can choose just the regular bow, or you can have the cute extra one. We're gonna call it like, extra, but the extra one, and you're married. Or like, this can be one where you're like, you're engaged, you're a bride, la da 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 And then this one you can wear after you're married because it has the rings, and the veil, which is really cute. So that's adorable. I love it. I definitely will be using it. I, oh, it's so cute. I don't know if you guys know this, but unfortunately your girl had to postpone her wedding. I was gonna get married this year in October and Marcus and I decided to postpone our wedding until next year, October. And it sucked for me personally. I knew it was the right decision to push it back, but it still kind of sucks to not be getting married this year when I originally planned and as of like lately since we postponed I haven't been really feeling like a bride and this just is really special that my fiance gifted me this because now I'm starting to feel like a bride again I don't want to cry but like I want to start feeling like a bride again and be excited to be getting married not that I'm not it's just like you know you postpone your wedding and things don't go as planned so yeah, I'm just really happy and this bag is gorgeous and I can't wait to use it at the parks, at our honeymoon. I can definitely use it at my bachelorette because you know your girl's gonna go to Disneyland for her bachelorette. And it's just so cute and beautiful and I love it. And I'm hoping to do more like Disney wedding videos for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions of videos that you guys wanna see, um, definitely comment them down below and let me know which videos you guys want to see um but it's so it's so beautiful and I love it so much like I'm so happy it's so cute shout out to my fiance thank you so much for this lounge try it's so adorable and I can't can't wait to use it Ooh. but that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me gush over my new bride lounge try because she's gorgeous and I love her so so much uh, love it so much but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did definitely give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time your girl uploads a video which is every monday and friday and i'll catch up with you guys next time bye oh. hold on my nails falling out for the hundredth time today why it will keep the ears I just whacked myself with it. So, hold on. My chair is like legit spinning as I'm trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> like, what the heck? I can't even talk.